April the 29th, 2021 it is in this series of MK Ultra proofs uh, I for the most part created on April the 26th of 2021 that's about three days ago during the single trip most of them is such uh, I am gonna go and demonstrate you knowledge of route path politicians and myself as brought from the US to Slovenia uh, have used since 1995 now keep in mind I have not used this route before in my life with exception to 2016 I think prior to my trip to Belarus I think it was 2016 or 2017 I did go like three times up there maybe twice three times up there it's altitude 650 meters it goes all the way to 650 meters and back then I had a lot of extra kilos too for that reason is why not uh, but before I didn't it, it really didn't cross my mind I would go and hike do the hiking like this uh, all over the hills the people that would go up there uh, next to American politicians next to German British politicians of course were Russians Pollocks and also a Belarus president Lukashenko he would go there too and when I think about the Lukashenko the route itself and it's what I was told don't forget to tell that don't forget to tell this don't forget to tell this um, this here that you see is the start location oh, I'm gonna use something more expressive this here is a start location right on the bottom that you see um, politicians in early beginnings were oftentimes based in this location here um, some politicians later on Lukashenko for instance it's, I'm gonna do this as I was told don't forget to tell this um, it was different for him he would go and stay in this area here the Novo Mesto this here okay so now if I zoom myself out from location I have just demonstrated all of them our location and that location right there uh, he was not the only one that would stay there okay but the route the route would take it would go like this you know, if I simplify this and they would go like this in the mornings it's where we would met right here this this would be the intersection this would be the place we would meet and then we would go up the hills to where I'm gonna take you right now all the way up here all the way up here da, 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 da. something like that more or less whatever uh, beyond here too but the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through here today that's basically the only thing I am gonna do today we go to the map that's a considerable area uh, the times before I was taking it to this here this is Tershkagora location when you have this church of Mary's birth St. Mary's birth uh, this time however so you demonstrate we're gonna go through through this area here 
up in the heels like this. That's uh, actually a castle, past castle. Stary Grad is the name. It's uh, the name is Old Castle. It's actually a fortress, a military fortress is what it is. individual who properly identified this as a fortress as a military fortress believe it or not they were Harry William they paid attention to all this and then through all these heels I don't want to actually take credit for that uh, two of these people from London came we believe that we have fortresses it was everything that was actually castles there were castles it is then we were told oh no these are not really castles, these are fortresses. Um, on some other occasion, also we're going to do something maybe here. I already did manage to come here once. By Pauls I was told, if you do this, you're not supposed to be that far. Uh, actually, that was Stoutenberg, I made a mistake, Strauberg here. Radulia. Uh, never mind. Uh, that's that other route. The politicians also love. They would go. They would use that route. And that's basically what I'm gonna take on today. With a whole bunch of proofs I created again on uh, April the 26th of 2021. A whole bunch of proofs. Once I'm done with this, it's gonna be some other stuff I'm gonna come with. Uh, interesting too. Interesting enough to actually improve about the spine breaking game in Poland. Yeah, right now you were here somewhere. But this here, I did manage to gather the proofs for this year too. This is Poland. Yeah. So, once everything is done, I'm going to close over the whole thing with the audio about the Poland, about Donald Trump's spine-breaking uh, reality games. The first dot I am going to take you to, according to all these arrows that you see, this is where I'm going to make stops. will be right here. This is going to concern graffiti. This is an A2. This is a highway, super highway, autobahn actually is what this is. And it's where I met, actually it's where two girls met me after I did, after I video recorded, so we video recorded some stuffs, stuff and demonstrated quite well that I do remember what exactly went on with these graffitis which are located next to their houses they during this video recording I did would come out and meet me greet me if you like just as the two promised would also they did not give yes to my alluding on American presence knowing the two and stuff like this they did behave funny you know enough funny like how can i say um duhovito no um not in a bad sense in a good sense humorous for you to read between the lines as i'm about to translate this audio next in my collection of audio recordings I do have a really presentable video I am going to use and that's exactly what this looks like under this bridge under this overpass 
notice this uh, black writing in front of you that you see on a wall this is all done by a single individual right here from this area somewhere and I know so here's why all this Hamilton, Hamilton is, yeah, today it did happen so, for whatever reason, um, I was told that before my case becomes known, recognized, they will go over my Facebook, um, as I did post some inappropriate stuff, and I completely agree to that. Now, I do have to say that I would not want to lose the Facebook account. I don't, I'm not keen to that. I don't like the idea about that. Um, mentioning Facebook simply because Hamilton is an individual who is a good friend of a gentleman who works in a food industry and was involved in MKUltra. This is partially Hispanic, American guy. Um, it does have something to do also with the Canada, but I'm not sure exactly what. I'm not precisely certain about it. I would have to go over um, so on and remind myself, but he did have me in Slovenia about maybe two occasions. He was present in MKUltra in USA though. And it's related to this here below too, that you're about to see. And it says uh, McDonald's Papa. McDonald's Papa. Individual Hamilton, let's say, stated to individual right from here when brought here to Slovenia. Uh, he brought me, he was here in 2005 and he was here maybe again, I am not certain about it. Either it was 2012, it might have been 2012 or 2015. I'm not completely certain about it, but it was something like this twice he was in Slovenia, maybe even three times, I don't know. He told the guy from the area here, he said, write down for me. Um, he was angry, I don't know. That time I was, I would say it was a time I didn't know who the hell I was. That's how bad it was. He said, he wrote to the guy from, met him here, he said, write down, write down, my name, za means for, and then exactly what you see here, this crime, and on the bottom you're going to write, you're going to do, you're going to do this thing here, ha <laughs> ha, it's like retaliation, ha <laughs> ha, whatever. Um, this, he alone explained to me, he have done for others, that would either come to his town or to the U.S. or whatever the case was so that nobody could say that he did that kind of stuff, whatever, for one thing. And it's how they do it also in Slovenia, how obviously they have done it for him. And foremost to remind people involved in MK Ultra case that's a locals here about what he wants uh, and in this case well that's basically what this would be um, this myself crime here as you see like this and his name here Hamilton so the people that would walk by would be reminded basically of 
what he would like to be done with me. This is done by the same guy. Just to walk. Told me up and everything. This was since 1995. Enough to. I didn't want. I didn't want to come to Slovenia. Okay. No, I didn't want to come here for obvious reasons. Anywhere near. What you have just seen a little earlier, I have demonstrated you. It precisely was done here, this in the background, in this background, this here. And you have to climb up there, uh, and those who did these graffitis with their guests from the U.S. and other parts of the world, whatever, even had a trouble descending going up and going down they had a trouble with that and i would love them mercilessly on that mk ultra humiliate whatever the hell i was telling them yeah they were doing stuff to me i was doing stuff to them simple as this when i said earlier that i didn't even know who the hell i was i couldn't state better than when i just stated <laughs> The way that all this stuff started was... The way that all this stuff started. The way that all this started, everything, this is the best explained here. That's no... This is just something recently done, so it would blend to whatever was done from the past. They do this stuff so you wouldn't so because of what I just stated so I wouldn't state what I stated but uh, my memories are clear Tough. Well, like I said I didn't even know myself who the hell I was now listen to this um it is it's actually the way that all this stuff started was it started with this thing here look started right there with David David was an Israeli guy. He was involved in MK Ultra really like in 98. He wasn't exactly the earliest one. But his age, probably approximately mine. He ain't that young anymore. Uh, now he did came here in what I think it was like 2003. It was something like this, I think and uh, he didn't like me at all i didn't not only i didn't like myself i didn't know who the hell i was anymore over the course of the time through what was done to me i lost a track of who the hell i was and as people watch me they didn't know until they realized what exactly went on they didn't know what went on with me really until they realized what went on with them. Once it concerned them, they grasped. But for me, it took a lot of more time. A lot of time went more went by before I figured out who the hell I was. And that was a Jewish guy, as they built this. No, this was an Israeli, not only Jewish, but Israeli guy was this guy. Saying here, this. He did this. They did the signs like this. They did this for him sometimes in 2003. Demonstrated me, saying to me, saying to the locals, with me in trash, basically. With me in trash. Well, I was obnoxious. David says this, this and that. David is cool, David was Jewish. Yes, David was Jewish. I don't like Jews at the time, but the Jews did not know why I didn't like Jews. Maybe this explains why this appeared later on <laughs> this appeared once 
not only they learned about what the hell went on, but it appeared also after I learned about what exactly went on. And I learned what went on once I met Netanyahu, Benjamin Netanyahu, that's the Israeli Prime Minister's niece in a Budapest, in a Hungary. Um, a niece, a beautiful niece, uh, that was during renaissance of my, it wasn't exactly real, but it was really crazy. Um, Anti-Semitism, if you like. That was the time that I hated, I lived for the hatred as I was most severely brainwashed. It started at the partisan memorials in 1995 when Moscow brought with them a technology mass produced throughout the Russia, which would turn people into something completely different for the government purposes. And it was done in a such a way that I learned about myself have failed because I locked myself to myself. Rest self-assured that as long as I didn't do it, nobody could possibly prove that I have a problem with the partisans, that I have a problem with anybody, anything here. I was laughed, I laughed at them even at the memorials, the partisan memorials where they would take me. But this self-assurance on how nothing could possibly be done to me, how nobody could possibly prove me, and how the hell would you prove me, something that I didn't have a problem with, uh, that my views actually go against uh, Slovenian partisans and so on. Meets a dead end. After they did manage to get for me the words they wanted to get without my realizing I was eventually even video recorded. Over the course of the time they did manage to bully me enough to turn against hell, against everything, including against memorials dedicated to the partisans, against the partisans. First you turn against the memorials, then you even turn against memorials. Uh, then you're told You did the bad thing today. Why to care about the next bad thing you're going to do? That's how it's done at MK Ultra. And they video record everything. And before you know, without even knowing, you have the whole world going against you, basically. And you go from one issue to another. They continued with paranoia which involved Jews waiting on me behind every curve, Jews waiting on me at the truck stops, Jews waiting on me, yeah, don't approach the truck stop, don't approach the rest area, don't go for a walk, don't go here, don't go there, it's a Jew with a sniper waiting on you. Waiting on you with a sniper on the other side of the river. Dare you? I wouldn't say this. It's very dangerous. We're going to put the signs to you so you wouldn't say this. And they did. They put all kinds of signs in the forest. Don't go here. It's going to be a Jew here. It's going to be a Jew there. It's going to wait for you. Just to remind you. They watch you this. They basically encourage you into anti-Semitism. Uh, reach climax sometimes in 2016, I think. Till in Budapest, I eventually met 
the girl that was involved a long time in this MK Ultra through Benjamin Netanyahu. Around I'm about to talk to you, and it's mostly I recorded on April the 26th, 2021, was also Benjamin Netanyahu's route. He would go for also for a frequent exercise for walk. He would definitely go whenever he got the opportunity for hiking outdoors. Funny enough, I had a good time with Denise, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu's niece. Little I knew who she, the hell she was. It was beautiful. Um, it was funny that here and there she would go and check with some people, meet some people on, a, I don't know, on a distance of maybe 50 meters away. Always some people. Um, little I knew who she was. At night time, it was great. We would walk through the city where I think everybody was already asleep. Uh, trusted me with the life. Until she left, you know, I actually left further toward Belarus, through Poland, Ukraine, uh, and it finally got me uh, who she was during the trip. So that stuff was not all that bad. It wasn't. It wasn't exactly what, uh, and it, and it was not about Israel. It was about someone else who claimed how they're going to take me, how the Jew is going to take me to the desert, and we'll ever see the desert, the way out of the desert, and so on and so forth. And you can guess who that was. It's that someone that somehow came to attention to Israel too through the local people. I don't know how, but Israel eventually did find out about what went on. Uh, they, they, Israel was strict in this case. They had a reason to worry about. Um, once they learned about it, they were more motivated in helping me out. And there was no way to help me out because I was just, I was too much in my own world. You see, from the boy who was returned from the U.S. to Slovenia, brainwashed in front of the memorials dedicated to the partisans, I God forbid that he would be bring me to the memorials dedicated to the partisans. I would be like a German shepherd, something like this. I would just develop like subconscious reaction to the terror, to the death threats. Yeah, all well, that shit that started with boring like this when I was drugged up we're challenging we're gonna prove you that you don't like and this and that uh, you can't prove me how are you gonna prove me you know exchange of words grew into eventually into beatings too God forbid you would even put me in front of the statues memorials dedicated to the partisans that were already gone I developed like subconscious reaction to even to the statues that already were removed. I even that I was told already they were removed. I would still see the stuff that was done to me. It was completely unjust. I felt uh, I resented, terribly resented against uh, what was done. In real time, not. In real time, I could go and, and, and still go to this memorial was dedicated to partisans. I didn't somehow see myself in it, really, anymore. But I didn't have nothing. I didn't have any kind of impulsive reaction I had under MK Ultra personality. It was a completely different reaction. In the real world, I was like... I would go there and I would think about the partisans. It, it makes no fucking sense to me as my father was involved in national resistance. My grandfather was. 
my uncle was killed by the Germans. Uh, my other uncles were in the partisans and so on. But when subject to MK Ultra, uh, the people who brought me from the U.S. and knew nothing about this stuff, they were asking like, why, how? Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Because there was one guy who also brought me and he did not know. And I met others that complained to me about memorials even vandalized and stuff like this that uh, we would go around and I look I knew nothing about what went on. This was just the personality they developed under MK Ultra. Today, Jews already understand. David says this, this and that. David is... Well, and that's what it turned afterwards, you know. Cool, David was Jewish. No, what I have stated. It was first like this, you know. Just put it this way. Okay, the guy, this Hamilton, is related to the food business, and he is related to the friend I have on a Facebook. Now, enough said about that. If I get a Facebook account back, you now I have a time to find out if, uh, you know, then we can trace. I'm not angry at this person. Listen, I am not angry at this person. I know that today Hamilton is... I think 100% he's on my side. I know that today Hamilton knows what happened. It's very difficult that you would accept me as I was uh, throughout MK Ultra. Very difficult you would accept me as, as someone uh, that you would see yourself in me when seeing me during MK Ultra procedure. Just, unless you would be insane. Crazy. Or you would disregard all the political bullshit you have seen in me which would be a very d difficult thing to do and um, just wanted to help me for the sake of god or something like this human suffering in that sense but a lot of people paid price for it and that what hurts me badly but the people who saw a human being in me got punished after i did audio recorded okay all this after i audio I recorded, uh, video recorded all this stuff here. I audio recorded the two girls that were also involved in MK Ultra. Double down. Hi, how are you? After that, I'll speak a little further. And I joke with them. I scold them a little bit in a humorous sense. Did you paint all this? I tell them. Uh, no, 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 we did not. We did not. And But the other one says, do you like it? Yeah. I tell her, yeah, yeah. Of course I like it. Yeah. Not a youth is doing this. She said, youth is doing this. Uh, I tell her, but but uh, youth, but how? It's everything is in English language. Well, why is that? Uh, she says, uh, it's because uh, coronavirus started. Uh -huh. uh, she refers me to what I demonstrated. She says, up there, you see up there, it all started up there. Um, it all started up there. Well, don't worry about it. I know where it all started. Uh, 
This is the whole recording. Jewish, the yes, effort was Jewish. I don't like Jews at the time, but the Jews did not know why I didn't like Jews. The Mirror or the Sima for the Terrifima. Now you understand that I already did video recorded everything when the two girls came, that's why I just did right now. <laughs> I thought that the two of you, in my opinion, the two of you definitely would know something little about all this. The two of us, they say? Uh, I, I, uh, the two of you, I tell them, you're neighbors here. She cuts right in front of me and she says, I, I tell you honestly, these are uh, children, a youth. Uh, I tell her, you, the two of you, which out of these houses are you? And I demonstrate right there the houses right in front of me. We are referring to the houses here. There is no other houses anywhere else for that matter. No matter what I would want to do, even if I would want to make a mistake, I couldn't make one is what I'm trying to say. Okay, it's not connected. Even if I wanted to make a mistake, I couldn't make a mistake. The girl I am talking about, this people, this is a tall girl, skinnier girl. They used to have a farm. This was a farm, um, a farm. And it didn't even look pretty in 95, in 96. Uh, but then they modernized. They started to modernize. Uh, the houses were pretty already back then. Oh, don't get me wrong, but it was not, it wasn't exactly appealing. Uh, the maps aren't working well, but I would like to meet this girl again and tell her because they did change, and I remember they did change around her house, they did change the area, and would love to go talk to her about how they changed, what they changed, and so on and so forth. I would like, I would like that. I would like that. I think she actually is this here, this this thing here, this house here that you see here, this. And I can see here is already a big difference. That's what I'm saying. I think this here, this was an old barn. I don't know here. I remember old barn. I remember this here. And I would like to see this stuff and talk to her about these things. Make no mistake, I do remember both of them. The shorter one, however, suffered a depression because of me. And she really did. Um, she was hurt because I rejected her feelings for me during MK Ultra. She didn't appeal to me, it was so many girls involved in this, and unfortunately, one of the most successful procedures implemented in MK Ultra was a gesture. <coughs> they would do something bad to you, 
I would send them to hell, whatever. And they will tell you, you already have a bad day. That was a brainwash, not only under MK Ultra, but the day, the way you start the day, this is what your day is. And if I would start the day like this, I would already send everybody for the rest of the day to the hell. Under MK Ultra, where you're tortured, this is actually very, very. MK Ultra, this is all about the mental manipulation. This is all about manipulation. So many things I have heard that under MK Ultra that they, they make them so appealing to you that in, in real life you would go and repeat the stuff that could oftentimes bring you to the jail. I refuse to do that. But other people don't. You see the people doing stupid stuff all the time getting themselves in trouble without realizing actually yeah, um, that it's somebody who told them that stuff it might sound to them not familiar enough I'm going to say not familiar enough but logical enough to state something stupid that otherwise they wouldn't And that's how they get in trouble. Oh, now she says we are from over there. Yeah, of course you are from over there. We are standing in front oh. of you. Oh. We only go occasionally from here. How many meters away from here? I tell her, please. Because I know these two girls, I was meeting these two girls were meeting me. Not that I would meet them, but every time we would go through here, toward those hills I'm heading. I had it on April the 26th of 2021, that's three days ago, if today is the 29th, these girls would meet me, well, especially the short one would. And I tell her, especially you would know. The two of you definitely would know. And she says, oh, yeah, I, I am the one. Yeah, right. She says, she says, I'm not wild. Uh, I'm, I'm the right one, she says. <laughs> yeah, and is laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because today for these two girls is a revenge day. They waiting on for a very long time. <laughs> I tell him, look at you, how you, the two of you are laughing happily, you know. <laughs> she says, See, if, I don't, if she doesn't have a headache, she's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all kinds of stuff they told me. Why do I have this thing? She says uh, that I walk, that she saw me walking with this thing. Yeah, you did. You did saw me and you will see me walking with this thing. All right, let me explain why exactly do I have. I want to be really specific. I've already met cops that were involved in MK Ultra doing uh, road inspections, uh, basically patrolling roads. I'm not saying that those are the guys who did, gave though tickets. They did give the tickets out. They gave Americans, they gave guys tickets. They would go hiking and stuff like this. Because at night time, according to the law, you have to either wear something that is uh, like bland like this, that uh, colors that you can be seen, detected, identified from the distance for the cars, for the moving traffic, or either have a light or whatever. Or they write you have to take it, financial penalty, bad one. Which, by the way, they promised me that when I will be doing this stuff, one time they will get me. 
I don't know about their claims. They got everybody. But when they give you this kind of stuff, when they tell you they will get you, um, they, that actually means they are after you. Whether they gave them tickets or not, when they tell you stuff like this, it's because they tell you because you shouldn't feel bad when they give you a ticket. So yeah, I have a backpack and that's what that backpack is covered with a font. However, I have a smartphone. I'm using a light so that I can be not a puzzle for the traffic. I read mine, the two girls, because they knew about all this stuff. They knew about what went on, that there were some other people that got penalties. Now, I tell them uh, it's great they, they demonstrating what they have for a sundown for the dark so that they can be identified for the coming traffic. And I tell them, and because of the two of you that are such a beautiful girls, on top of that, the police would not even, I bet, give you any tickets anyhow. You have to fight for equality, I know. Uh, she, she says, where are you from? And said, I tell her, lady, come on, if you don't know me, uh, you know, since 95, 96, then nobody does. Uh, every time Americans brought me, I tell the two, from 95 to 96, it was you who got to meet me here. It was you. Um, the two of you are friends already for over 26 years. We are joking something about the age and stuff like that. More than the variant. The fact that only a third one, only a third of the other is a plaster. The first one that was interested in me was the shorter one. The longer one, that one is more witty. That one also was interested in me, but very briefly. <laughs> and at later time, that one was interested in me sometimes like in 98, something like that. Uh, briefly, maybe one summer, something like that. <laughs> And she says, uh, I, I don't know, uh, she says, I don't know if we meet each other, right? I don't know if we meet each other, but she says, you have an accent, she says, from somewhere, she says, like Austria. 
you know, Austria. Now, I explained everything about the memorials. What exactly went on, these girls did not know. Maybe, I don't know, maybe up to date. I did explain about Sveta Gradish, a psychiatrist here from Novo Mesta, who was involved in these memorials. Oh, this. He came to Austria from where I would not want to go to Slovenia. And he was like, how come? How come that you don't want to go to Slovenia, Sebastian? How come? I was jerked up over there. How come that you don't want to go to Slovenia? And I was like, no, 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 no. The only way you would get me almost would be like dragging me. And it was like this. You wouldn't get me to Slovenia no more. I didn't want to know about, I didn't want to be humiliated, beaten up no more. I do want to thank these two girls uh, who obviously know me uh, about Austria. Austria was an issue. And so already I have explained about the video which I have made about Austria and about the Tseta Gradition about what went on in case you doubt about the credibility of my statements. It's already a video where the audio proves locations I have identified in Austria. I was so traumatized that when I would come, when I would go, I did not want to cooperate anymore. And these two girls, the people know. The people in a way were horrified. I think it wasn't difficult to see why. I mean, there was a Milosevic, there was Karadzic, there was this mass murderers were criminals that would come from Serbia also that would go on this route, on this hiking along the hills, or so they would go separately. It wouldn't be like that they would walk right along Americans and stuff like that. No, man, they knew who, when, and how. They did not associate like on an open space and, and, and march around and do the stuff like this. No, 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 no. They had it would go separately and for the meetings and stuff like this it was a closed area they would use it wasn't difficult for them to understand what the hell went on here this to girls would have a mercy to lie me and i'm grateful for them i'm grateful to them for that because this is how traumatized i was that we're going to austria jerked up in miami they would say uh, uh, I was so badly that at times I estimated children age 8, 9 to be 18 years old. They told me, if you're going to say this, your uh, statements are not going to, they're going to lose the credibility. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. I have a very, very irregular heartbeat too. My heartbeat is almost like the one of the crocodile. I'm going to discuss about that issue some other time and demonstrate you what my heartbeat is. It's so low because of this drugs they used to me as American psychologists told me that this is not natural. You're a sporty guy. You're always into sports, but your heartbeat is so low that he said this is not because of this. This is what these drugs do. So they, that did damage too to me. That kind of stuff did damage too to me. That's how, uh, uh, like they say, they would say in Miami, down in Miami, I was with those drugs. That's how bad that shit was. It said, these girls, they told me, you're going to Austria. They, they told me, don't worry about. And they started to talk about the chocolate milka <laughs> uh, and stuff like this to entertain me, to make me a little more positive. It must have been a pitiful sight to see me <laughs> along these people in the mornings when they would go for a walk, when I would walk like a prisoner next to them, unhappy uh, about, you know, just walking like a, like a dog or something like this, but really unhappy one or something like that in that sense. So they congratulate me on my Austrian accent. I don't actually have any uh, and 
listen what Austria and where Austria is. Uh, she says, you have an accent, you have an accent, the accent you have. And I said, you, you said that there is someone from Austria here? She says, Trebelno, ne? Trebelno. Uh, these are these hills where I'm heading, eh? Uh, she tells me, that's Austria, she tells me. So, yeah, I would say that these are the girls, the right girls. Don't you know that, she tells me, don't you know? And in that case, she tells me, you're not from Dolenska. Dolenska is a part of the Slovenia, uh, like a region. Okay, Slovenia is already so small that it's difficult for me to talk about part of Slovenia. I mean, Slovenia has got two million people. You... I'm not going to say you put on quarters, but... I don't know how many regions we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. You put in six pieces of Slovenia, and there is your piece of Slovenia. It's small. I tell her, I go oftentimes up there. But that there will be Austria, that, that's something I have no clue uh, up to date. Austria on your shirt, you know? uh, I tell her, now it comes to me, I tell her, you like Austria, don't you? And she says, oh, yeah, of course I like Milka, you know, Milka. Milka is a chocolate. This is all from MK Ultra that she's gonna say it to remind me. Uh, one time she did have a Milka. She did have a chocolate Milka too. And it was about this chocolate too with this American psychologist. Stuff like that. I don't know what she says uh, about the capsule, uh, about uh, something about when I said about ninety-five and ninety-six. She says, "Yeah, yeah." She says it was it was it was in capsule or something like that. It's all the stuff from MK Ultra that I should remind myself of. Okay, but so this was this was the deal with these two local girls whom I hope I'm going to meet again. Uh, oh, it's true, they did not acknowledge uh, what I hoped for. They would say, yes, we saw you. You were along the Americans here and we remember you. You're bad. I am actually thinking right now, how would I entice girls like this to admit the truth about it? And I might have actually just come to solution. I'm not going to say what that would be, but hmm. Okay, let's see this. Uh, they're laughing, leaving, and wishing me my best uh, to keep uh, to proceed toward Austria. I tell uh, the two Austrian girls, I tell them, uh, I hope we see each other again. <laughs> And that's that. I am going to include the audios. Once I'm done, I'm going to put everything tick tick in a sequence so that you will know exactly where what. The next thing I am going to move to the father son uh, and renovation and construction of the new house, which, well, I don't even get to see. So, this is going to happen, this is about to happen along the road, this was a graffiti, okay, right, right here.
But this location right here, this is going to be, well, you're going to see a car and the distance of the house I have managed to identify. And for that matter, like I said, we're going to go in here. Actually, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate you what exactly happened here. Because I always use a recorder next to, even when taking videos, I do have a proof, in fact, that I was capable to identify. Had a conversation right there. That's his car. That's where we were at with a gentleman. Okay, the two of us met. If I go like this. He came as he promised he would. They made like a little party here uh, in this place here. And uh, he used the opportunity to stop right here and that's exactly where we met, right next to his car. We talk about his car and the only chance he gives me eventually is for and, me to identify uh, from that distance. Uh, his son uh, the his house and his son house somewhere over there in the distance can you see anything at all well what you see right there I saw it less I saw right less than you, than you than you do right now this is already away from car when I take when I make this video that's his car and uh, his son uh, I am forced to actually go through the memory in time where he had me in front of his house and recall a renovation of his home and a year when his son erected brand new house I think it was the case the houses we were talking about it's yeah you see it somewhere over there. You cannot even see it from here. If I would go into detail about the house, it would be somewhere, I don't know, maybe, maybe this here. And behind that, there's another house and so on and so forth. You can't see anything. The only way to do it is to go into a memory and I do have a memory sometimes gives me ability to look inside of the houses where I was to tell what is inside where and so on and so this is just one of the examples eventually I'm going to use to prove the knowledge of this gentleman let's go to the audio he got involved in MK Ultra. If I give a little background about him, that is very interesting case. So here, past the castle. Here, past all this, and then where was that? Yeah, I think that here is where we met the two of us and um, his home is here but first we met in 1995 here this is a police station here And right across the police station, on the opposite side of the police station, and I did not remind myself of that. They were, they had this uh, company that have um, reduced its staff, its uh, location, sold one, uh, two businesses, whatever, that you see here now. He used to work here and uh, he retired. 
let's go. To this thing here. Uh, a gentleman asked me where am I going, and I told him I go across the hills for a walk. Up to the Radulia River and back. Ah, I was a little bit ambitious that they didn't make it, but it was a really productive day three days ago. The car, I remember this car, I remember one because he was so happy to have this car. This is a very, very modest name. And I would say down to the earth, man. This is a really a gentleman that, although I have to tell you that during MK Ultra, he became scary enough for me to completely turn away from him. I would not even want to speak to him anymore. Uh, that's the kind of person I became. I turned into. A totally different person I be it, it it went from worst to the worst to the worst to the worst but it took some time to destroy me at least they tried and I had a capacity to climb it back uh, but over course of the seventeen years. I started to turn myself into worse and worse and worse case that you could prove actually wrong in a legal sense. Uh, but the stuff I was up to was really up to no good. And he would get into my face angry because he wanted to help and nobody could understand what, what the hell goes on with me, what's happening. Uh, and I was relentless. I didn't care. The more someone dared me, the more I dared back. But this time when we met, he was completely at peace with me. He was happy to see me. And he completely surprised me. Later, I meet another German, the same thing. He actually appeared to me so aggressive during MK Ultra that. and promised me that he wouldn't don't even come close here and i don't know what he was talking about i think that explains enough all right so let's go to recording it's better left here left here left i don't know what a beautiful car you have okay. 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 i tell him uh, don't you want to sell one? Uh, I was sure he bought a new car because he was so happy about this car. And he said that he bought a, a used one. Now, I had a problem with this. He bragged about this car too much. Uh, I was sure that he had this car, I don't know, what do I say to him, 10 years? 15 years? Uh, 15 years? 15 years ago, I tell him, you bought this car already, like 15 years ago. No. He's screwing himself up. That's where the problem is. Kovac Andrei, he didn't know this is what's going to come to. He had a friend who would sell some cars. I don't know, first it was like on the side and this and that, and then he started to sell cars. It was something like this. And I think that's the one. Now, when he mentions this guy, this Kovac Andrei, uh,
or this is his friend and he had this car for a very long time that's another possibility but i had a feeling that this is like a small dealer something like this this was like a small dealer or something like that he was that kind of stuff too play with his cars i was definitely when i heard that uh, i was like uh, how not how not why this kind of stuff at the end of the video you're going to see it's going to be another gentleman going to identify the neighbor here right across the street these people had a prior arrangement with owners of the vehicles when they're going to purchase vehicles that creates a real trouble for the person because they introduce you to this vehicle you see the vehicle you see the vehicle okay that's the vehicle i'm gonna buy okay for me under mk ultra the only thing i remember is this car okay i already saw this car i saw you i saw this car so what am i gonna think all right so that's where misunderstanding is coming from but he says he's got five years this car that's like what 2015 I don't know. What are the limits? I'm going to drill it. Yeah, I'm going to drill it. So, I'm going to drill it. Yeah, I'm going to drill it. 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 Since 2016 or something like that. I'm going to drill it. I'm sure he always got this car. Now, why they will do that kind of stuff? they did that kind of stuff so that they could say you did not identify me they would have that kind of stuff they use that kind of stuff frequently 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 so now unless you would absolutely prove that you do know them they had an alibi basically not really but they make you feel like they have one like they want their way out or something like that in that sense I ask where, where, which house are you from here? Because I am completely confused. This man comes with a car, stops right there, right in front of me. Uh, I see this car, stops right in front of me, and that's that. No. Now go for it. That's all there is to it. And he tells me the house over there. Okay. The thing is, you can't even see his house anywhere. Where? House. Yeah. And how can I see it? He says the new one, the, the one that is new uh, over there. Like, where? Like, where? You have seen what that is. Like, where? To be more or less some video to be weird. I tell him I, I can't see it from here. I would have to go there to see it. Doing the corner pray. We need to switch on the beauty is because of some. I tell him you know the guy that was also in Shmarieta with the house. It was there's there's a guy there's a he's got a daughter here. That's another case I have to go through. Nah, nah, need to be weird here. He says no, no, no. He is or some. He says, no, I was not. My son, my son also has a bugger. Uh, what exactly is a bugger? That's like a caterpillar. Okay, that, that's, that's basically this. This is, this is what this is. This is a bugger. Son does this thing here. Seen? Seen my bagger, seen my bagger. Uh, and when he says to me, seen my bagger, seen my bagger, uh, my son has this caterpillar. My son has a caterpillar. I start repeating, son has a caterpillar. Well, what I'm trying to explain to you, this is so difficult. I imagine what I'm talking about. And son has a caterpillar. Now go, make me, whichever way you know. And you. You have a few seconds to get it done too. Talk to Mars. Uh, yeah, I tell him, please hold on. Please a second, hold on. Sure, Let me remind myself. He says he, he used to work a lot at the Presheren. Um, the thing about it is that I don't even know. 
I know because I have identified someone else. It, once I'm done with this series of videos, I did this stuff on recorded on April the 26, 2021. I'm going to do that one because I know all the people, all every company, every in private sector, public sector, all this. I went from door to door to door to door. They were updating me about them. But this is a hard time hard time he's giving me a hard time and i'm just not in my head son with a caterpillar son with a caterpillar right. now he tells me that he used to work at akrapovich too his son that's another private company man this is like a total mess right now he's not doing any good but i'm gonna tell you what son did invest effort in me he did try to help me he did try to update me but this is impossible i'm all confused this does not give me the information i need i am after his house right now i'm thinking about his house i need to get a picture about his house yeah I have no idea where his house is. I, I tell this young girl, this beautiful girl is located right in front of this uh, pond, lake. I, I try to get an idea where his house is, first of all. This is very difficult. No, no, no. He tells me, yeah, yeah, it is. She tells me about something about that she works in Adria and stuff like that. I have no idea about that. He says that uh, the girl is studying in medicine. I tell him, no, this is a cosmetologist because I did spoke the other day with her. Okay. All through, I had not completed yet that one and nobody nobody talked to me about other people like this guy does nobody has ever given me any information about other people like this guy did nobody literally nobody i have never spoken to a single person from the beginning on ultra like with this guy that he's giving me only information um I remember her father, I remember her, uh, it should be a boyfriend that from the house next to her um, parents, Shmarieshka Toplitsa, something related to the house, um, it was something about selling, building new house, uh, there is a whole big case that I have to talk to these people because those people go all the way to 95 they invested a vast amount of time in me too and yeah i tend to reward that stuff as much as i i, I just want to know where his house is so, so i said this is this is not related to you he says, no, 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 no. I have no idea at this point in time where his house is. I said, and, and your son, you say he, he's got a caterpillar. This this turned out to be not very bright conversation. And he says, yeah. I said, I've seen my bagra in... I feel as if somebody would beat me up right there. I keep repeating the sun has a caterpillar. <laughs> and the man talks so fast, you know. Uh, he, he always uh, spoke so fast. He always spoke so... T -t 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 but he knows what he says. That's a funny thing. I remember you from 95-96, I don't know where to put you. He says, I'm already in the pension, he says. He says, I retired. 16 years. He tells me 16 years already, he says. 
He says he worked next to the police, just as I have demonstrated. Uh, petrol. Petrol. At uh, the petrol, that's like a fuel stations throughout Slovenia. The name is petrol. We have some kind of warehouse, some kind of. To me, it does not work. I I am not sure where that is. I'm asking about another location. This is where he worked, but I know that he was involved. And he says this is right next to police. As I understand, I understand. He tells me the location next to police. I don't know. I feel like somebody beat me up right now. I I say I don't know what to tell you. You you are hardworking people here. I don't know what to tell you. I I I ask him. Hey hey, I feel so beaten up. I, I tell him honestly, I tell him, what, what am I supposed to recall? What am I supposed to remind myself of? I, I feel like somebody would beat me up, literally. He says, nothing, nothing. I said, I, I, I would at least have to see your house to get an idea. He says, he says, the lake, the lake, <laughs> the lake. The lake is further, further, and that's not his lake. That's not his pond. Um, I tell him, well, I, I already have done that. I already have identified that one, please. Um, now I get pissed off. I am determined I'm going to get something. Okay, this is one for He doesn't stop. He says, hey, what about you? Hey, uh, it's like almost saying, like, hey, who are you? Uh, uh, you are from the city or something or what? That's what he's saying right now, man. I remember your house now. I remember your house now, I tell him. Okay, this is one for you. Okay, he says uh, 150, 200 meter is uh, distant my house. Uh, you can't see one because it's trees there, because it's hill. How are you going to see? What are you going to see? You don't see anything. Yes, to be them, he is talking now. What could I want to wear? What seems in our bite and red? Boom! I tell him, listen, I'm going to tell you like this. Your son built himself a new home. Next to your house, he built himself a new home. He says, the smaller guy, the smaller guy. He says, yes, the smaller son. The smaller son, he says. They just said, so boom. There was four numbers. They we and you. So if a or star from any country, from any stop, no view, who can say four numbers? Boom. You, on the other hand, you renovated the home of your parents, from what I can recall. No, you couldn't do better than this, because that's all there is to it. You couldn't do better than this. It doesn't get any better than this. I would say you could do better than this. No, you couldn't. You couldn't. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. I actually got even a feeling that, uh, you know, when he started to ask about the stuff, well, what are you from and stuff like this, that he just want to do the stuff and disappear, like, really quickly. And when I did this stuff, there was nowhere to disappear anymore. But he does want to help. He does want to help. He makes it tough, though. He makes it interesting. He's like, it appears to me as if he's still trying to get his way out. 
ways out and he's so talking so fast he's making me nervous with this he's like like the fastest speaking guy so far i think uh, he says, yeah, yeah, old, old house. <laughs> now he goes and tells, but that one, that one is already uh, collapsed up. That one is already demolished. I am not to go just so easy. He's going to just do like this with me. And I'm right now, I, I got pistoled. I'm thinking about where are you from, man? Uh, and I said to him, listen, hey, hey. Um, I'm confused right now what he's talking about, man. I said, you, you, you demolished it? You made a new one now? What, what are you talking about, man? This guy is making me completely nervous. He is jumping. He doesn't allow even for me to complete what I have to say. I, you were able to hear me that I was going to say that he also remodeled a home. Improved old home. Ne, čakaj, čakaj. Kaj se pobi, kaj se tudi neki naredi? I, I tell him, wait, 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 I tell him, man, wait, 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 because you're mixing everything. I tell him, but what about you? You, you also, you also made something. Because that's what we were talking about. The, the one, the one, the one that my father was there. What? What are you talking about, man? I know about your son. I, I try to calm him down. Please slow down. I'm like, please slow down. Please slow down. Because this is not so, so not easy. And I get myself there. And this guy just jumping from an issue to another issue and fast. Too fast for me, blah, blah. And tell me the stuff that actually is not... It is real, but it's other stuff that I'm trying to figure out. That matters. I tell him, but but you. But yeah, I'm pak, I'm pak, I'm pak. The cat can see, the cat can see that you all have to do and do and take one after. You have to come, come angle it. Osam in the weather, so it's not that as good, bro. Because you have to be in a stable and stable and stable and stable. I tell him, you know, I tell him in 98, it was in 1998, when everything was going, everybody was rushing back and forth when you were working hard on that home and you did pick something on that home. Because I see, yeah, on the side, that's home of what he says his father. That's a home that he remodeled. He, he fixed that home. Then it was another home that he put down behind that hole. And it was his son's home, there was a new hole. But this guy is just going like this from one issue to the other, does not allow me. Now I'm correct about everything I stated. Ninety-nine, you finish that house, and now he goes, yeah, 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 yeah. Just as common, uh, that's the it. I create a little bit of a riot, a little bit of a fun, a little bit of a fun. Yeah. He gave me a confirmation, and uh, I told him, you did just as you promised you would do. You will meet me. They're going to make some kind of party or something like this, and you would meet me and give me a chance to uh, help with these proofs. And he says, yep. Yeah. Okay, um, it's like this. I ask him, is there like anything else I should remember from MK Ultra? Uh, he says, that's all. Uh, and I say, thank you very much. And we go apart, we sit with each other. He told me to, for me to actually go and take a photo of 
the home so it would look like really impressive the stuff that i have stated to you right now already earlier on how he remodeled home from his father and then he put the other one down uh but uh he worked hard uh and then the new home that his son built but the thing about it is that i didn't take any photos uh, on that day i have already enough proofs i don't need that kind of stuff i appreciate your help and uh there is no need for that there is no need for these photos there is no need to uh, no need to do that kind of stuff uh the case is proven and uh, with so many proofs that i have at hand let's just move to the next issue also recorded on april the 26 2029 that's basically three days ago next location i am going to take you to is eventually a location where the gentleman earlier mentioned is a pond that's actually in the vicinity of his home um, not too far from there is his home but that's quite ahead and that's a pond that is marked with these yellow dots that you see right there they have trouts there and there is this stream going right next to there uh, and people go here for fishing and so on and so forth later in the day I have identified also grandpa and grandma from the owner lady owner uh, whom I have identified already some time before that uh, on other occasion this is a fishing harvest tree harvesting they they harvest trouts here uh, have them for also for fishing and so on um and it was thanks to my father not only that he helped them design this fishery pond uh for this commercial use um but he also presented them on where to purchase fish from and stuff like that. Uh, when it comes to MK Ultra, these were one of the nicest people involved in MK Ultra. Uh, also, in early stages of MK Ultra, as we would walk through here, we would oftentimes stop and they promised to help me and they did help me by what I'm going to demonstrate to you uh, later on but at this point in time it actually as I'm heading up these hills it actually concerns a young couple now this is a couple this is a couple whose boyfriend is from apartment building on Ragoska. That's more or less something like this that you see here. I don't think I can see anything here, but there is one thing I can do because the street maps, streets, Google streets are disabled. Thank you very much for that matter. That's really helpful. I don't know what's going on with the Google street maps what I can tell you is a boyfriend I hope I'm gonna meet him meet him on another occasion so that he can confirm this is from I think this this apartment building here this one this is on Ragoska in the city of the Nova Mesta. I can't do much about all this stuff they get me by the surprise they both of them look like they would be like 17 years old young really 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 young they're not they already are at a college now the first time they got to know me was about five years ago the problem is i'm 50.
An author they say, they don't say, but I remember. They did have a weekend house, um, one yard house, if you like. But we meet here at this at this picnic place here, and I tell them that the two could go fishing. They get me by completely by surprise. Really, I I really did not. Thank you very much, but I did not expect all this attention. They have their weekend here somewhere though. This is the Spaha, whatever this is. I think they have it here quite high up there too and at my surprise as I I don't feel like taking risks but I do remember the couple uh, first I go wrong I told them they're from um, from this area around here I remember them and I was sure they're right from here actually from Peter from here I don't do well at that point in time again they get me by the surprise this is not an easy thing to just go and just tick 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 um, I somehow get away with it by pointing out these are really young people really really young people uh, I told them I wouldn't go and take a picture of it but you can trust me this is like really really young people uh, I get them by telling them in 2017 you already were together that's four years actually I tell them three years four years 2017 was four years ago and they give me a green light and well for a, such a young couple it would be kind of unusual that the two would be together like for four years already like this it's from high school they were they tell me not four years we already uh, together for five years actually since 2015 hundred percent because in 2015 they had me hospitalized they throw they have thrown me inside of the psychiatric hospital in down Apollia and the young kids these two young didn't like that didn't like people didn't like that and uh, the two of them didn't like that even a little bit and that's why I like them and what they did for me in Slovenia, they people do not address each other as sir. Uh, in Slovenian, gospod, gospod, we don't do this stuff here in Slovenia. We simply don't do it. But in psychiatric hospital, they did just that, gospod, gospod. Psychiatric stuff from Ljubljana Polje, who at one point in time up here up the seals here sometimes I think like in I think the year was maybe I don't was 2010 it was exactly orchestrated uh, yeah invited me literally I'm not kidding with you on my funeral no oh, they had a picnic they had a picnic here they had a fun time uh, they prepared like food and stuff like that that kind of stuff and uh, they told me that this is actually my funeral party this is my funeral and they molested me with this bullshit uh, I didn't like even a little bit but that's okay uh, where was that here here somewhere something like that yeah I didn't have a choice either that's just to let them blah 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 whatever uh, I had to go along with it I always do it once they would end with a blah 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 that's when I gave them always a taste of reality you know um, anyhow that time they were not funny in 2010 they were not funny even a little bit man they uh, they insisted me that this is my funeral it must have been here it must have been here in this area that this is my funeral that this is for goodbye to me that this is this is a funeral it's a funeral time for you um, yeah 
I would say here, here somewhere, something like this. They prepared food, all kinds of stuff, had a good time. Okay, we brought you, today we have your funeral. We have your funeral. Uh, and I was like, it didn't look like funeral, man. It, they had a goodies, they had some good food, stuff like that, cheese, salamis and stuff like that. But I have funeral, I, I was like, yeah, they will call this whatever, whichever way you want. Huh? I can get some of that funeral myself. Um, and it was, it was this Vinko from Ljubljana, uh, Andrea too, the nurse Andrea. They were all, they were all stressed out. It was all, uh, uh, and me, uh, along others, I really didn't give a shit. And they told me, you don't give a shit, do you? You don't care about any of us, do you? Uh, Andrea was really stressed about that stuff. And it was this funeral, whatever. Then the funeral was, and they explained to me what they're gonna do with me. How am I done? I, you're done. You're done. You're done. <laughs> you tell me that. Okay, right on. The more funerals I felt, the better. The better. Eh? That means that soon you're gonna give up on me, man. Uh, that's precisely how the hell I felt about that stuff. Just that. That's not exactly what the case was. Uh, the two did just as they promised they would do. And they called me with a sir, Gospod. Uh, on, what I told, uh, on what I told the two, uh, I told the two, not, not Gospod, not sir, not like I was called inside of the psychiatric hospital, uh, just uh, Bostian. I told the two and the two laugh like in a, such a way that you will understand that stuff I am talking about could be taken in a context as I stated so they knew me since 2015 I like the couple a lot uh, they did not like it and they got involved they got activated uh, with idea to help me out that was nice of the two I like the couple that was very nice. Now let's let's hear this uh, couple. I told the two, I, I was trying to joke with them, and uh, I told the two, you could go and enroll yourself in, in, in a fishing club right here, at this uh, fishing pond, and you could go uh, fish together. I just wanted to like do something like this to see what exactly the response is going to be, whatever. But I bargained for more than what I thought. And the two are laughing again, and, and, and the guy says, yeah. Is that right? He says. He says to, to tell the tell the two. Of course. Uh, but I tell the two. But you do have to enroll yourself into this membership. This is not true. This is a bloody lie. Uh, you don't have to enroll yourself. You just have to bring the fishing pole with you. Uh, whatever, girlfriend, children, whatever, and you can go fish. And then once you're done fishing, you just pay for your catch per kilo and you go home but I wanted to have a fun with these young people all right so I they know of course I'm pulling them for the nose uh, I try to guarantee both I, I get a little more I thought you have no idea how there's as many fish here as you want and the girl says yeah she says like that, she says, yeah. I tell her, you don't have to worry about anything. You just put bait on your hook here and you throw inside and the catch is guaranteed. <laughs> they don't like this even a little bit and I already know why. Cause they're out there for me to identify them. But I am thinking like, man, do you really want to risk? Uh, see if it's your lucky day. Okay, and 
it doesn't come to me immediately where the two this and that and tra la la. It just doesn't come to me. I'm not that smart. Come on. Oh, crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I need a little warm up. Okay, the guy's laughing. Well, this guy is over the side for him. <laughs> I get even worse. I tell him, and you know what good thing about this place is, I tell him, you don't actually need the ticket. <laughs> you just you just bring the fishing pole and your girlfriend, and the only thing you do is you come here and you pull the fish out. How about that? Yeah, I tell you, actually, you allow her to pull them back for you. <laughs> okay, the three of us are laughing. In political it sounds uh, it sounds maybe funnier in Slovenian language. Uh, and I tell him once you're ready to leave, however, it's the time for you to pay anyways. Uh. Because they are not for free, they are trouts. I tell him, but once you leave, you do have to pay. Because they are not free. So I just, I'm just joking. I tell the price, the cost for this fishing per kilo. Yeah, yeah. Six, seven euros per kilo. Yeah. And yeah. You have a wonderful day. The mata and lep dan skupe i lepo. To je pa lepa stvar. Da se malo lepo. <laughs> the two are laughing and happy. There <laughs> I go. I tell the two, so the two of you can have a beautiful day. You can hug a little bit. And fish. Yeah. I go further, I joke more. I tell them there is a boat parked right there. It's actually a really, really mini boat. I don't know what that stuff is used for, but a grandpa that you are about to hear as I depart from this place. Uh, it was like this that one time had me in that boat. That boat, the water was very low. It was all kinds of BS. They were playing with it. Uh, they let the water out, or whatever the case was. Uh, it was the end of the season. I don't know what it was and with the children and all kinds of stuff like this now these people know about this i'm sure i want to see their reaction when i joke about the boat what how that's going to look like and they're they're laughing they're laughing <laughs> okay i tell them about this grandpa I tell him about this grandpa. Make no mistake, as I go back my way, okay, as I go back from here, I go up the hills, then I descend from the hills and I go back home. A grandpa was there with the grandma. <laughs> that's the grandpa, that's the grandma I'm talking about, with the children. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what I stated. <laughs> yeah. And they are laughing, they know what I mean. Uh, I say it's not uh, it's not so deep. Actually right now it is deep, but back then it was not. I am mistaken, they're not from uh, St. Peter, uh, that's just nearby here, they're not from there, they're from the place I told you about, but, okay, I could have done better than that, but, no. not really, not, just not, just not like this, it's sorry. It's Marieta, sir. Oh, yeah. oh, no, uh, she says they're from Shmarieta, Shmarieta, that would be... 
Marietta would be like here, this place. I like the idea that she says they are from Shmarieta. I like that very much. Well, now they are because they moved there. You know what I mean? Because I have no idea. They, they built a new home or whatever they did. Now they are, no. But before, they were from where I told you. And I hope to meet them again and get this confirmed, literally. That's a good thing because that gives you more. So he tells me they have a weekend house here. They have a weekend here. Now I catch them. Now I catch them. I tell them the two of you are so young. I tell them, you're so young. I would say that the two of you are still in the school, like a high school. That's what I mean. I don't say high school, but like in the school, so young you are. And he's like, well, but I say this with a reason. About three years I the school. But three years, I mean about 2017. That's four years actually. Three years, you two already are together. The girl said, We are longer together. And it's it. Five years, they say. Five years is what we are together. They're already then together since 2000, and definitely since 2015, that's a six years. It's a problem, eh? And I tell them, I remember a little bit. Am I correct? <laughs> and I go, <laughs> and I say, I could almost swear you're in uh, high school, the two of you. They're skinny, young, really like in high school. <laughs> I told them I would have done a photo, but the two of you, I think, would run away then, so I'm not going to do it. And the two said, eh, rather not, no, not that, not. The two are here to help me out with it. Make no mistake about that. You can hear also, according to the tone of voice, <laughs> and she says, no, that we are not going to do it. Yes, I am in Belarus, I am in the whole beautiful sea, my beautiful sea. But on the point of the sea, I am very happy to be on the sea. And the sea, which is very good, is that I am in the middle of the sea. I am in the middle of the sea, so it is very beautiful. It is very beautiful. The only thing is the sea. It is a little cold. I, uh, we talk about a little bit about how nice is here. Um, before we go apart, they ask for my name, and I tell them, Bustian is my name, Bustian is my name, uh, ne gospod. Uh, and he says, he says, okay, gospod. Okay, so 
it's not a regular that you would say what's your name and you would say my name is John and I would say okay sir uh, that's not exactly in Slovenian language impossible very completely impossible inappropriate totally uh, it's impossible impossible uh, and uh, he said he says okay go spot and I say not go spot not go spot just bush down and the two are laughing together so that's what I meant earlier as I stated that Uh, that's exactly what the pond looks like uh, that's exactly what the pond looks like and really on my way back uh, that's a boat right there too a little tiny little boat that you see right on the other side of the lake and on the way back just as I have spoken to the two about the grandpa and the children uh, when they let the water out of this uh, pond uh, they played and they had me inside of this boat which is uh, extraordinarily tiny little too, too tiny boat uh, make no mistake they came and that's a mom and father of the owner lady of this place so on my way back I actually met them The very next location then, moving from Pond, is the location which possibly, I don't say possibly, involves even a gentleman. That's a location right here. Even a gentleman who might have gone to Poland, one of the earliest that would go to Poland, but he was not the earliest. He declined to go. He delayed to go to the Poland. If he did go to Poland, yeah, I do have the audio recordings about that. This cat did not want to go to Poland. He was pretty smart. He was pretty cautious about it. He let other girls go in, uh, before him. But this here, this is the real deal here. I have recordings. I have here proofs about the Poland. Oh, yes, I do have the guys from my city that did go to Poland in 96, in 97, in 98. I have it. And this gentleman, however, he socialized with them. He did socialize with them. Uh, and so, very important gentleman uh, who also gave me a chance to meet his family. And I think that eventually, sometimes in 99, he probably did go to Poland. He was playing a soccer, having a good time and stuff like that. But in 99, uh, eventually, he did go to Poland too. Very possible is that he did, but I'm not sure about him, whether he did or he did not, or what exactly. What I can tell you about him It's like this. I should say a lot about his family. Um, he knew all about this stuff. They were playing with me and respected the women. Yeah, they were pulling me for the nose like you wouldn't believe. Um, this house here, they played with me, with the women. Um, this is a very interesting one. This is a very interesting one I have to take yet on this. Uh, but the gentleman I'm talking about, this gentleman is from this house here. And from his son, yeah, from his son, wife, I have met her parents and her uh, here. I told you that the Serbian politicians, I told you all about. That's a Belgrade city. That's in Serbia. They lived inside of apartment building in Belgrade. Yeah? And eventually, 
we're gonna go from this hill sides out and we're gonna go to this area right here yeah this here Torchets, Leshnitsa, and then you have. I am going to try to. Let's call it Pizzeria. Okay, here. It might have been this house here they rented out. Yep, there's a family, they rent the house, and they lived here for about, I think she was here maybe even like six, seven years or something like that, um, and eventually decided, after disappointment with me, of course, yeah, um, to move up to the hills and become a Billy Healy Slovenian girl living her homeland far behind Serbia uh, past right next to this old study grot the castle of Dracula I'm just kidding uh, I, I love to joke with her because she was like uh, you know what she told me she said that she is really cautious She's really cautious because of me. I think she had a sense of humor too, that, that she does not wander too much around these hills. Anyways, that she keeps it really at home and next to her hobby, basically. Anyhow, they're very happy with her. They're a happy family. Uh, wonderful daughter-in-law she made. Uh, and uh, this is now her new home. And uh, that's what happened to her. That's now her life now. Yeah, I, I like to be humorous. Uh, if you want to see Castle of Dracula. I was just kidding around. I, I don't mean. Well, that's this castle I'm talking about. So, I like her too because, in a way, she's very serious. So, you know, I like joking a lot too. So, um, I know she doesn't mind. But, okay, this is her new place. I did not ask, I didn't dare. To be frank about it, she was really angry with me. I didn't dare to to ask about these questions. Um, I did, however, identify mom who came, does not live with a husband, lives apart. She came uh, for a visit and bingo. Uh, the two went apart. I think me and probably I would say even like in what like a long time ago long time ago there's there's some stuff I need still need to ask about but if I would go for it I'll give you I would give you like 2005 something like that now I have to go over earlier even uh, and learn more about it <sighs> maybe maybe I was even uh, uh, guilty uh, for some of that maybe maybe the lady was not nice and I found a way to separate the two who knows uh, I was guilty, guilty of a lot of stuff um, but if you want to be serious about that that's okay too uh, but anyhow no I can't actually take that kind of stuff serious uh, people are more serious than what I am I like to joke actually um, I like humor I like a lot of humor I'm a humorous person if I wouldn't be a humorous person I wouldn't made it that far And 
and a gentleman alone said to me he promised me if um, if you're not gonna figure out anything about me I yet have to ask him questions in respect to his life I think I did figure out now once I started to think about the family I'm just gonna say that yeah you're gonna find uh, you know a wife that is never too late and stuff like that man all these girls here from the skills they were playing um, I should say destiny was playing us all okay I don't want to blame anybody because I don't want to be blamed for it either and I think the people came out as best possible people tried to help me out so I don't think you can blame anybody for those feelings anyhow um, audio in respect to what I have in respect to this family is basically like this Well done. Here we are. Hi, hello. Now there's a bunch of girls. If you wouldn't know what you're doing, uh, you shouldn't be doing this stuff. Uh, she's got at least one, two, three other young females with her. If you would not know, and child, I think, is there. And that you, you, you shouldn't even talk to her right now. But because she told me that she's going to give me that kind of chance, and that means that she's not too damn and angry with me if she is, okay? Hi, hi, hi. I think that for three days, I need to thank you for some of the things that you spare Okay, I joke. And I tell her, oh, this is a place uh, she said she's going to put this thing on and it's going to be my ever the only chance possible to identify her. It's now or never, she said. That's how it's going to be. She did. It was this thing here. No, but the thing is that I didn't remember her, too. It wasn't this thing that was detrimental. And so I tell her, oh, uh, this is a place at a beautiful, uh, tiny, small windmill. Uh, 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 this is a place at the windmill. It's a little tiny windmill that they place there where the beautiful girls live. That's how I was again kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And they are laughing and saying, yeah, yeah, that's that. I, I tell her, I tell them, laughing, they're laughing, and I tell them, yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know where that is, I know. <laughs> and I tell her, and you're, you're a mom, right? Am I right? She says, yeah, I am a mom. Well, I tell her, did I remember you well or not? She says, I remember you very well then, in that case. And she says, from where? Oh, this, she was very nice. She was the one. She was just really nice. What was? Yeah. 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 I tell her you uh, are here on a visit I tell her I talk something about her husband and I tell her uh, you are here on the visit now they appear like busy but I want to make sure that I, they understand you are here on a visit you always come here for a visit. <laughs> I wish you a good day, thank you very much, equally, and so on and so forth. Um, according to me, according to my memory, uh, the gentleman did go apart with her. This eventually, I think, uh, is her husband. The gentleman I have spoken with 
the other day. Uh, if that's not the case, then she is a mom of a daughter who lives here in this place. And this daughter who lives, there are two. One is from what I told you where she's from, from Belgrade, Liberty, and then there's another one that will be her daughter right here from Slovenia. Um, I think the man you're about to hear next is actually her ex-husband. The two separated sometimes, I think in 2005, maybe even earlier. What happened there? Yeah, the truth is that I felt that, uh, yeah, I like him. I liked him a lot uh, because he was very nice with me always. And... Um, I think that's what got him in trouble. Um, maybe, I have no idea. Maybe she wanted to be at home and uh, I was like that, uh, that... I don't know. Maybe she was cautious with me, whatever. I told her, I told him probably to, to him, oh, next time I'm going to come past you, I'm going to get a slap. To get himself another lady and stuff like that, she was not very nice from the beginning when she met me. Um, I don't know what happened to tell you the truth between the two and uh, it looks like the couple went apart okay uh, the next thing is an audio It should be an audio from the neighbor, but I am going to play you that only. Yeah, I am going to have to play you that separately, but that actually doesn't make sense. You would hear the gentleman talking to me. And the only thing you would actually hear is but basically he, me saying me what I told you about. We discussed something about the injury of his knee because he was playing a soccer. Uh, but for me to get something essential out of it, I would yet have to stop there, uh, talk to him about it. He does know everything about the Poland because the group of the people he associated with, that's exactly the group of people I'm talking about and I got a feeling that he did go to Poland uh, if he did go he was a cautious cat he did do so probably sometimes in like in 99 something like that. I know so actually I think so because I I did bully him on that issue too I was the one who told him, hey, what are you waiting for? Why don't you go to and this and that and all kinds of stuff. I didn't know what the hell I was talking about on, on that MK Ultra. I was just all over the place. Mess. Uh, the next thing I want to go to from here, I'll go to the neighbor. And this here was not recorded. I repeat, this year was not recorded three days ago. This was recorded actually maybe two, maybe two weeks earlier, some, something like that. So, and this involves the guy, one of the guys that was involved in MK Ultra is really, really early. Uh, not so damn early, but I would give year 19. Yeah. 1997 1997 I would already give you um, I would already say like something like this 1997 uh, the thing about him is a problem with this stuff is that uh, there was another companion there was a whole bunch of companions from Ljubljana I brought to the city of the Novo Mesto. Some of them 
even got married. That's a novel master right here. Novel master, you see. And that's a Ljubljana right there. Because of another guy and because of other guys, and those are all this 95, 96, 97. Yeah, this guy was not exactly so early. This guy was not so early. This guy, this guy got involved a little later. Not so damn early, like 99, something like that. 98, 99. Um, and because he was like, yeah, quite blonde. He was quite blonde. Uh, he is about as tall as myself, a little taller than myself, actually. Uh, I, because of his dialect and the way he looks, the way he, the way he look, I got an idea he's from here, from Grasupia, Ivanshna Gurica, which is close to Ljubljana. Uh, at least uh, here, Trebnia area, Gaber, something like this. Uh, but no, he is from this direction. He is from this direction. That's what really, really got me. He is just, he is from this area here. He's from Karteljevo. Okay. So that was a mistake I did. But I do point out the direction he came from and the direction of that autobahn that goes toward Ljubljana that I remember very well. Uh, and I tell about the daughter and I was actually sure about the mom that, that she was single sometimes in 95 and 96 because of the stuff she was doing. Okay, the stuff that she was doing she was doing the same thing like many other couples did. It wasn't only the single ladies that played, but it was also couples that played with me. They wanted to know what I think about their girlfriends, and girlfriends wanted to know what I think about them. That was one of the most stupid things possibly you could do to me. Uh, before, you know, you would be told, actually I would be told that here is my boyfriend, here is my husband, and stuff like that. I mean, that kind of stuff was like totally um, demoralizing. It was like a uh, thousand times it repeated. So then there was some other people that paid the price because of that. It's the stuff you should never do, okay? But the place is this one here. So on a road map, it would look like this thing here mom husband in law americans she did however give me a green light about americans in 95 96 presence that would walk through here no that's what i needed a lot i needed that stuff a lot every one of these people here well i'm not gonna say anything because it's still count on much more than that it's what i need so i'm just gonna stop here and play you an audio. This is nice, but it could always be more. The first thing you're gonna hear is the guy I told you about from the same house as this mom I have just recognized. Um, I like it because he says about the ladies, how I should not give up that it's gonna be okay in this and that. Okay, it's okay. Jurania. No? And he talks to me about the pain in his knee. Oh, uh, there is another thing. He had, I think actually, yeah. He had a, in 98. Man, I am not even sure about that. That he had an injury in 98. Knee injury. I think he had a knee injury in 98, in 98, 99. Well, 
se nabira nešto. Voda se nabira, mislim se. Mi bi bako tjerali još. Pa ne bi neki rajšte... He said he's got a water in his knee. He had already procedure going on already twice. I need to think about this injury in 98-99. No. Uh, if anything, he postponed and postponed and postponed to, to Poland. And I don't know. Did he go like in 99, 2000, something like that? Finally. I alone became a crazy destructive tool in the hands of these politicians. They poison people with solidarity issues, all kinds of BS, which they later poisoned me with and told me that my life is going to depend on a number of these people. They will get to Poland, literally like this, they told me. So I started to pressure people to go to Poland, drugged up, talking shit to people that they should go to Poland because of politicians, literally. So this is, this is the politic, this was the politic, to be completely, completely exact. I was told to do so, so that's just the way it was. And I was trying to pressure him and he just wouldn't go and wouldn't go and wouldn't go and wouldn't go, but I think that in 99 or 2000 he did too. Others did, right? Others did. And at one point in time I did pressure like some Two, three guys I did started to talk to them they should go to Poland too, and stuff like this without even knowing what the fuck I was excuse me talking about Stop. this is MK Ultra this is a real MK Ultra I became a crazy tool in the hands of these politicians I see now just how much I tell him that he should always wear clothing regardless if it's hot, warm, uh, cold. He played soccer. Yeah. Yeah. Julio. <laughs> Okay, um, we don't discuss about the issue here, my issue. We're talking about his cap knee. He's got a water in his knee, pain. Says there's no, there is no rescue. I told him, go, go to uh, get your massage. I tell him, you should go. He talk about the massagist, massagist and this and that. I tell him, yeah, I tell him about other stuff he should do, wear all his clothing and stuff like this, but he keeps talking about the massages. He's keep driving me crazy about the massage, massages that he was with the therapist, massage, massage. And I tell him, yeah, I think too, you should just go and visit one. And uh, I tell him it doesn't matter. It's gonna help you. Definitely if it's gonna be a beautiful looking woman. And he is laughing, yeah, 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 just, as he promised he's going to do if I'm not going to pull out anything smart. 
and comes out and says, yeah, it will be, it will be uh, meaning for me. I never told him I'm, I'm single and stuff like this. So, oh, this heels knew all about everything, all the stuff. The neighbor did a lot. That's the lady I'm actually going next. I have a tomato. Julio. You, look. You choose to the work of a small enough prey. Okay. Here comes the lady, a hero, a trooper. A cowboy from the hills this one here I always thought she is uh, at least a single mom yeah because she always played with me I mean I was always like yeah I mean th the thing is that these people turn against me badly um, some because they were afraid of politicians others because my behavior probably became obnoxious but she was so always nice uh, in 95 and in 96, you know, when it all started, I was much younger and it was frankly uh, a beautiful lady. Uh, just simple as this. And so I finally met her in person um, like this. Hi, hello, hello, you who come? I tell her how nice it is here and she says, oh, thank you. And she says, well, this is my biggest uh, pleasure. Oh, this is like beautiful sightseeing here. You can see the hills. I got a flowers here. I got everything here. It's so nice. Yeah. She says, I go far. I tell her, you know, I go all the way to the top and a little further. Like you say, over the rainbow. She says, uh, how far do you go? All the way up to where? And I say, I tell her, over the rainbow I go. Uh, and she says, uh, how? How? And I tell her, just Maurizio, over the rainbow in Slovenian. Joking. You know, I like to joke. Uh -huh. God, come yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she says, and uh, that is really beautiful, she says, and you're alone. And, you know, I tell her right back, I tell her, yeah, I tell her, I, I, I remember your son-in-law too. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and she says, really? Uh, yeah. Gregor, yeah. Uh, yeah, I say, really? And she says, what, what's his name, Gregor? And I say, I have no idea what his name is. He's got the, uh, talk. I, I don't say what his name is. I have no idea what his name is, but I give a total description of one. No, blonde. What talks for Tolia? I say it's like uh, light-skinned, blondy, blondish, light-skinned. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And she says, uh huh, uh huh. I tell her, and uh, please tell me, is he from uh, like Grosuple, uh, Ivanchna Gorica, something like that? Because this is what I have in my head. 100% I was that, that he is, there was another guy from Grosuple, from Ivanchna Gorica. We'll get there. The same thing, light skin and all that kind of stuff. That's what 95 and 96, that's what this was all about, 97 and so on. He's, she says, no, he, he's from Kartelievo, just as I have demonstrated earlier. He's Kartelievo, yeah, huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know, I said that person who came and got some in the way, the foot got. Uh, this is a completely, completely mistaken. Uh, I, 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 I say that he came here to this family, that he moved to this family sometimes like in 98. That's a little too early. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. This is a man case of
actually uh, in 98 and she says yes I think I exaggerated a little bit I think that he did not come in 98 but I'm not sure uh, he did not came in 98 I don't think he came in 98 I think he came like okay let's hear this I said and you don't remember me I tell her I brought you a son-in-law and you don't remember me I tell her aha she says no no not in in 98 we didn't have any son-in-law here in 98 I met this guy sometimes in 97, in 98, not that I brought him here. Then he was going back and forth, sometimes in 2002 and 2003, as she says later on. Well, you know, you know, come on. Um, this going back to 2003 and that kind of stuff, you know, that's like... No less, I don't know, then how many years is that? We're talking about 18 years, 17 years ago. Uh, you can't go and see the difference sometimes between 20 and 17 years. This is a very good, uh, actually, 22 and 17 years. What I did is already good enough here. Uh, she goes immediately and says, uh, I have a younger daughter. Who? My daughter was born in 91, she says. Who? Yeah. She is 30 years old. I am a man who is a man who is a man who is a is a man yeah. 2002, uh, she says, yeah, that's possible. Uh, I, tell, I tell her, okay, I, I made a mistake, but I was the one who brought him here. I tell her, and who brought him if I didn't? And she says, seriously? And said, uh, well, who brought him if I didn't? Yes, I'm going to go to the car. I'm going to go to the car. I'm going to go to the She says, How could I possibly recall you? She says, How could I possibly recall you? And I tell her, And who does not remember me? Who does not, who did not recall me? Who cannot recall me? Who does not remember me? I tell her like that. In Slovenia, who? Who does not? And she is laughing. She is laughing. She says, uh, my memory is very bad. She said, I have to admit that my memory is very bad. I tell her, you? I tell her, you, your memory is excellent, I tell her. Yeah. She is laughing. Yeah, yeah. She says, I, I really, really don't remember you, she says. I told her in 95, in 96, and 97, when I was going through here, I actually loved to stop here because of you alone. And this was the truth. She says, seriously? 
She says, I don't know. Yeah. It's possible, she says, it's possible. And she's got a dog over there. She says, you look like 25 years old. Oh, yeah, right. Yes, I tell you, thank you very much. I'm 50, I tell her. Yeah, cool, uh, they have a dog over there outside. A beautiful dog. Yeah. Yeah. Aha. Aye, aye. Tells me about her dog. Okay, she doesn't want to give me a light, a green light on, uh, on me, so I figure out, I'll ask about the politicians, you know? Don't remember you, don't remember this, don't remember that. Uh, I said to myself, let's, let's try to see if uh, she remembers something about some politicians that would walk through here. I tell her, there was all kinds of people that walk through here, politicians. And I go specifically, I go to 95, in 96, in 97. Why would there be a politician in 95, 96, 97? Impossible. Uh, why would you have all of a sudden Americans walking? through this valley here, Novo Mesto and stuff like that. In 95, in 96, in 97, you, what exactly would brought them here? There are many other places in the world, what exactly here in Slovenia? Chances are very, very unlikely. Uh, at least I would get something like that, okay? Oh, uh, this is what it goes like. She says a lot of them walk by your house. And she says, oh, yeah? Yeah. I, I say to her, to her, if anyone knows about that, well, then that's definitely you. Oh. <laughs> and she says, oh, yeah? And yeah. I says, oh, yeah, and I'm laughing. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, uh, finally somehow I get something out of her by going to 95, 96, 97 Americans. And she says, but this, uh, this was, this was like, uh, uh, in a sense, like it, it always was, you know, because you have a term uh, not too far from here. No, 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 no. She says, now it's slow because it's a uh, coronavirus and stuff like that. Okay, so at least I get something out of it, but this is, it's, it's just not too good. Okay. Um, what can I say? This is the kind of stuff that better than nothing I'm going to say, but it actually gears me, shifts me backwards. So it's the kind of stuff I try to stay away from. I just want to put the stuff that people remember, stuff like that, uh, including myself. That's the kind of stuff. You know, because the people who did remember me, the people who did remember Americans, when I put the stuff like this, it shifts them too backwards, not only myself. You know, that's all I want to say. We go apart anyways. I go my way. She goes and does her stuff. Uh, no, she was not single in 95, in 96, in 97. She played with me too. Nitty million letters. The bit 
ce americani, nemci, anglezi, băs fudi ce fără să fie, păsă, păsă. Păsă, o meci ni Slovenii, pa e păsă Melania poruciră să strumpăm. Pa e să-i stara cu ea. Um, I, I try to enlighten her a little bit, um, but it doesn't have a success. Uh, when I tell her, Melania, even, same age like myself, very nearby, from very nearby here, just like myself, she's from Sevnica, even got married to Donald Trump. Um, ask me, really? Yeah. What can I say? Um, silence? Is golden. She says, there is nothing we can do. If we're going to be healthy, we will have everything. Well, whatever. Uh, just as long as it will be a health and it will be everything. Yeah. Either her, yeah, somehow like that. Yeah, whatever. I talk to the dog and then I basically go my own way. Ampak meni se je vedno zdelo, da je od 95. ga že naprej, vi ste bila samska, ne? Ne. Niste bila, ste bila poročena. Married already 40 years, thank you very, very, very much. Like I said, silence is golden.